Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I want to share with you the second grade curriculum for live education and for Oak Meadow. These are both Waldorf inspired curricula. The thing is is that this Oak Meadow curriculum is the older version. There is an updated version and I do not have that one here to compare what the older version looks like to the updated version for the second grade. I do however know that for the upper grades the curriculum does stray from the Waldorf philosophy so completely that I would no longer call it a, a Waldorf inspired curriculum but it's possible with this older version that you can see some more similarities. So I wanna go through both of these curricula so that you can get an idea of what it, what they entail. And also if you're interested in this particular one, since they do not sell it anymore uh, at the Oak Meadow website, you would only be able to find this one secondhand. So let me show you really quickly what comes with the second grade curriculum for live education. You have your nature stories, you have your nature science, you have your collection of golden legends. This is a resource book or a source book. You have your animal fables from around the world, teaching animal fables, teaching the golden legends, nature, arithmetic, and form drawings, and the legends of the Buddha with animal fables. So you are getting um, quite a bit, but not what you would typically expect from a boxed curriculum. Also, the font is pretty small for this curriculum. This is intended as a teacher resource book, not a workbook, and not something that the student is going to work through, so it is quite dense. Let me show you what comes with the Oak Meadow second grade curriculum. I have to say that I am missing one book that I cannot find and I, I'm not sure which one it is so I apologize for that but it does come with the second grade syllabus and this is going to be the main part of your curriculum. It is divided up into 36 lessons and each lesson is intended to last for a week and within each lesson, you are going to have different subject areas so that you've got them all kind of mixed together within that week. They all coordinate really well with the stories that will be read for that particular lesson for that whole week. And then it also suggests music, crafts, and health. And I do not have the health book. That might be the one that I am missing. Okay, so this particular curriculum also comes with these different source books that will coordinate with each week. So you have Ben and Meg. This is a first reader. You have Just So Stories. You have Animal Stories. And then you have your first book of Nature Crafts. And this will be a nice addition to the if, you, if you're not sure what crafts to do, this will help you figure that out. It's really nicely laid out with the materials that you'll need and how to do the craft. Now, the curriculum doesn't come with the supplies that you'll need, but you can certainly purchase those separately. All right, so this curriculum is going to go through 36 weeks. It's intended for second grade, and my guess is that second grade is around seven years old, whereas the Waldorf curriculum for second grade is around eight years old. The lessons are set up to be covered in an entire week, so you don't need to do all of these things within one day, but you can see that they're there's enough information that can be not just covered in that week, but also reviewed at a later time. What's nice is the variety of stories. You have your animal stories in here, which are really great to go through, but then you also have tales from other areas of the world. This one is an ancient tale from China. Something else about the curriculum that differs from the live education curriculum is that your font is quite a bit larger. There's a lot more space around it. It's not quite as dense as the live education curriculum. This curriculum happens to be really user friendly. You're looking at everything that needs to be done within one week in a systematic way. It's all in the one lesson for you rather than in these books. You're looking at different main lesson books and you'll go through each of these books in a rotation block schedule format, which is different from the Oak Meadow curriculum and really different from most curricula in that you will be doing a little bit of all the different subject areas 
within that week rather than having a focus on a particular subject area for a period of time. This curriculum also goes through the morning activities and, and each of the lessons all within this particular lesson, the way it's laid out. So it's all in one space rather than having to gather it from other resource books. All right, so this is going to go through all 36 weeks of standard school year with all the different subjects kind of integrated within the lessons. Then you have your additional resource books like your, nat or your nature craft. So this would be your craft book. You also have a nice chunky animal stories book, which is a great addition, as well as these two books here, Just So Stories and Ben and Me, I'm sorry, Ben and Meg, which is a, uh, a reader for the young child. The book that I am missing possibly is the health book and that would typically come with the updated curriculum as well. All right, with the live education curriculum, you're looking at different main lesson blocks that are going to run parallel to smaller daily lessons. Your opening activities are laid out at the beginning of this book, which overviews the whole entire second grade. It has ideas on what to do, but it doesn't lay them out on a day-to-day -day basis the same way that the Oak Meadow curriculum does. So you have some flexibility here, but if getting creative with what you're gonna do for each of your morning activities is not something that you're interested in, then it's possible that the Oak Meadow setup would be a little bit easier for you to use. So this one will explain the different morning activities from you know, mental math to playing the recorder to memorizing a poem, and then it's gonna go through how to set up your uh, main lessons and how to rotate them through the year. So the rest of the books are dedicated to your main lesson blocks with a couple of books being source books, which is really great. You've got your animal fables from around the world. You have your uh, golden legends book, which is a collection of golden legends. So this will go through the stories of the saints and this will go through different animal fables from around the world, which is also included in the second grade syllabus. As we noticed, there were some tales from ancient China and you're going to see that as well in here. You've got fables from India, you have African fables, as well as the typical Aesop's fables, which are well known. And then you also are going to have your Native American legend. So you have Native American culture mixed in with your nature science. And then you're also going to have your legends of the Buddha with animal fables. And so you're getting quite a variety when it comes to your stories from different cultures and different time periods. And that's going to be the basis of the curriculum where all the other subjects are going to be drawn out of these stories. So you're going to have your nature science uh, coming from your Native American tales. You're going to have your writing and composition and grammar coming from your golden legend. So I really like the way that this curriculum has integrated those different subject areas together. With both of these curricula, you will need some additional resources for the live education curriculum. You'll need some main lesson books as well as some crayons or color pencils because the students are still young. The stick and block crayons are ideal for the second grade student and you can also use these with Oak Meadow. I like the way Oak Meadow has a separate craft book and this makes it really easy to add some extra crafts into your lessons. All right, so if you have any questions about either curriculum, you can leave them in the comment section below. There is more information about both of these curricula in the description box below, as well as links to the updated version of the Oak Meadow curriculum. You can also find links for the live education curriculum as well by checking the description box below.